moment we were about to step towards the tower, I noticed the black silhouette of Nico uh, lowering his altitude, closing the gaze of the Horde of Shadows. Okay. Why don't you just use the kind of gun or bullet that Igus uses? Because like we know Igus is gun like Igus uses gun like like only uses guns uh, when she fights against shadows. So like obviously guns can do damage to shadows. Lower a ladder to us, we can climb on the hot capture and you can drop us at like the top of the tower. How about do that? The hot cover uh rotates in place face direction we'll be proceeding in. Okay, what the heck is this art? Tremendous con uh, concoction of ring of bullets shower down the massive shadows, poison a bit of uh, back. The blackness every which way the waves uh the, the wave has been completely uh, covered the road loses intensity and begins to retreat. Life's more clean lights arrive into the way for shadows and come by the rolling sound. We can do this with not to each other and leap one after another into the newly opened path. We must head to the tower where our comrades are fighting so that we can uh, carry out no, so that we can all carry out our duties. Three percent. Nice. So yeah, so this is the one storyline that can finish the game. Yeah, let's go. Five of us who could have been entrusted with pursuing uh, Shokun. And proceed towards the top of the tower. Many floors will be climbed already. The stone and how is classroom appear to, uh, to at the very end. There's no sign of us reaching the end. Again? Wait, didn't we see this classroom earlier? 
I feel like the fog's getting thicker too. It may be good if this keeps up. Since we can't get a communication with Fukasan, we don't even know what's around us. No matter how far we kill the mazes of fake Jewish coming high, I'm going, uh, going and going. Outside, there's nothing but fog as far as I can see. Starting to get flustered because we can't tell how high up we have gone. Keep your cool. Getting all aggravated won't do us any good. You're so positive as always, Junpei san. You think so? You've changed, though. You've gotten taller, too. Huh? Uh, why do you sound so relieved? Um, I've been wondering if I hadn't changed at all. I made a promise to Mitsuda san that I'd live life like a child. What's that supposed to mean? Is that hard to do or something? It's difficult. I don't know what it's like to be a child, so I wasn't sure if I should keep doing what I've been doing. Huh. I guess being an adolescent boy is difficult. You should just live your life the way you are. I mean, if you are a kid. That's right. You can't trust Mitsuru Senpai's idea of childhood. Can you even imagine what she was like when she was a kid? Whoa, you're right. I can't. It's impossible for common people like us. Speaking of children, that show dude is the perfect example of a spoiled brat. One moment he's joking around, and the next he's incredibly pissed off. Yeah. What would someone have to go through in order to make them seriously consider destroying the world? What happened to him? In the topic shifted to show, uh, Shokun Koromaru-san uh, passes us by and stops before a lot of the doors. When I approach the door at uh, the Kuromaru sounds barking at, I see a step lead up uh, inside the classroom. I'm sure I wasn't the only one who uh, hoped this was just a place. Junpei san quickly opens the door and steps inside. Uh, aside the, the staircase, the room seems like a normal everyday classroom. Decks uh, lining up in a row and blackboard. Uh, uh, Dominus is a friend wall. I can't help but remind my own yearning to go to school and live as a human. Even at this time like this, I smirk a bit on myself, just uh, just as I'm about to follow everyone uh, to the stairway. Oh, like okay, what the heck? Now, what to do? Just General Teddy, huh? General Teddy. Found you. General Teddy, the mastermind of this tournament, or she escaped and... Uh, a uh, fearless screen general Teddy is completely different from the real Teddy we encountered earlier. Even though the uh, screen he he has on uh, he has an ominous air about him, I check him with my sensor in case. Uh, sure enough, he's a shadow. No, this is a normal shadow reading. What new world is this? this? Is getting out of hand. So I, General Teddy, will face you myself. Now bring on the ring. Okay, this is new because in P episode P four, I'm pretty sure you didn't fight General Teddy. General Teddy is basically the final boss, like... Uh, General Teddy lifts his little hand up, the familiar red pillar appeared in the four corners of the classroom. The tension runs through the area, pushing, uh, just, uh, pushing this, uh, concerns from my mind. There's no time to thinking about it, I have to, re uh, prepare the fight. Oh, God. Great with any of these guys. Uh, I guess give me Labrys, but I have a feeling Labrys is gonna fight the final boss, so it wouldn't be the worst idea to get like through a couple of fights with Labrys to get a better handle on her like skills. Like I said, I'm not great with uh, with any of these guys. Finally. 
Okay. Extreme that notice the thing who defeated them until now have lost their shapes quickly after being defeated, melting into like me melting into black ooze before disappearing completely. But this general Teddy is just as confident as he was before the battle, and has the same smile. I knew it. You're different from the other fakes. Who are you? A laugh. General Teddy uh, sw uh, swarms his cape upon him and laughs and disappears, vanishing into, uh, into thin air without a trace. Uh, hey, Yucatan. He said something about a vessel being completed. Wasn't that kind of suspicious? Yeah. It must mean that we don't have any time left. And when we defeated that General Teddy, he didn't disintegrate like the other fakes. There must be more to this case. King Kuhn is right, General Ted is different from the, the fakes we've been running into up until now. Plus, uh, those words he said before uh, before fighting. Monoski said he'd make his world, and Shokun uh, talked about my world. And yet, General Teddy said. <gasps> the quick starts again. The blackboard uh, and the podium uh, rattles loudly. Some sort of decoration on the wall falls down. The building shakes strongly from the time and the ascending time, the time to draw near. Can you all hear me? You're very close. I'm getting a strong reading just up those stairs. We hear Fuka sounds uh, statically community. Uh, Communicate. We uh, feel a sense of tension fill us. We steal ourselves and make our way to the stairs of the classroom. To be continued? No. All right. This this thing. At the end of a long, uh, sh dry set of stairs, we find a door. We open uh, the the heavy cold door. We see. Hazy moon uh, illuminates collapse sort of tension. It seems much closer than we had uh, seen it while wandering the tower. And then uh, there are countless cross. The same uh, the one the Suru and the others have been bound to. These crosses are scattered around the uh, oval arena find ourselves in. It really feels like we're outside. The strong wind blows towards us. Must be landing uh, jet on the side of the tower. I see a number of oddly shaped objects around. From one uh, of those places, I see a black shape flying towards us. Then when it lands, so Manazuki. Fly? You can fly?
saying that Kunsky doesn't matter to you, but he's how you've been talking about this whole time. Who's that bitch? Oh, okay. He uh wants to surrender uh suddenly uh breaks out the action scar uh behind his red things glowing uh dull reddish white. I already know what this means. Emotionally icy glares pierce us. Monazuki, the one who awakened with Shokun, and to uh, use his own words, the one who grants his wishes. I contribute carefully and present. There isn't any new factor of the same person. It's completely different uh, persons than before. The reaction from Plume of Zas is even stronger now. I can see it clearly. Shokun has a Plume of Zas within his body. Maybe it's uh, not someone like me to say, but not his voice sounds like a machine, completely emotionless. Perhaps even though know a personality created by Plume of Dust, he must have been uh, tried to save Shun in his own way, even if that was the case. No, that's not what Shogun really wishes for. What you're doing won't save him. I need some water. <laughs> 